Hey guys, so I have a haul to share with you. Wasn't gonna do a video on this stuff, but then I went to yesterday's today and um where did I put that? Oh, there it is. I went to yesterday's general store, so I thought I'd post what I've been buying lately. Um so my mother and I did a Valentine's Day Bazaar. We sold holy nut, holy nothing. We sold uh, not very much. Um, I made a total of eight dollars. I sold a pink cushion and an angel, and then I think my mother made made like forty dollars. So I mean, there's the twenty bucks in gas, the ten dollars for the table. My mother made a whole ten dollars profit. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah. But when I was there, I bought something from. I bought a card, which I've already put it in the mail. Um, and then I bought something from. Uh, one of the older ladies that was trying to make a little bit of money. And I paid five dollars for this, and it's just a really old uh, spool set. It's got the that really old feels like styrofoam pin cushion. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so I bought that. I was gonna use the spools for crafting, but and I'm like, uh, I don't know. When we have our own place again one day, um, you know, we'll have our antique sewing machine set up. So I, I think I'm just going to put this in storage so that I can have it on display um, in the future. If I didn't... Okay, it's in there. I uh, went to Walmart, I bought mineral spirits, um, now I just need to buy some permanent uh, stamping ink, but at least I bought that, but <laughs> it's kind of sucking I bought it now because I really want to color and use this, but uh, yeah, I need to get some permanent ink. and. I bought this thing of seed beads that was on clearance, and turns out I didn't get that great of a deal on it because they're normally a dollar fifty, and I paid a dollar for them. But um, whatever. I'm already starting to buy for Christmas last year because I wanted to do like an advent calendar for my mom. Um, because I had bought this wooden sleigh at Michael's, and I wanted to fill it with 24 presents so um, yeah oh and I bought a pair of snow boots because they were on sale from $36 to $15 really excited about those and there was a blizzard on the way home and we got like a half inch of snow and then it stopped snowing it's like come on what is wrong with you, snow gods? Why won't you give the one person who loves snow so much snow? I mean, really. Uh, I went to, I think it was yesterday, I went to, um, actually, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was Friday. When we did the Valentine's Bazaar, I told my mom I wanted to go to uh, the old time Five and Dime. You know, I used to shop there a lot, but because we live so far away now, we can't really shop there anymore. But, you know, if I'm in town, then I obviously want to go and support her store. And it turns out she was, um, on Christmas Eve, she was robbed at gunpoint and all of her money was stolen. So, and a blowtorch. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to leave the link to her eBay store in the description below. If you guys want to go on there and, and um, help her out, 
she's a really nice person just you know trying to make an honest living so I thought I had bought four things but I can only find three things so I'll show you what I bought um bought a violet mushroom bird for a buck fifty I bought these were on, on sale for um two per dollar so I bought two of these wooden roses and then I bought this bag of uh, scrap leather for four dollars and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet she had made these really gorgeous bookmarks with the leather and she had painted a feather on it they're really pretty and she was selling them for four dollars each I would have bought one but I'm not much of a bookmark person I'm more of a page or a corner turner you know I just turn the corner over because I'm always losing bookmarks and half the time I'm too lazy to put a bookmark in or I, I don't know what to tell you bookmarks just aren't my thing they used to be because I was afraid to ruin the pages by by folding the corner but I got over that <clears throat> uh, what are the two things I bought at Goodwill? Oh, yeah, I went to Goodwill. I already put it in the box. This, this is so awesome. I know you guys are going to think it is awesome. think it's as awesome as I thought it was. But, I bought a set of the old Christmas cartoons. And I'm so excited. We don't have a VHS player right now. We have a buttload of VHS tapes in storage, but, you know, VHS players are always breaking on you. So, um, because of many restraints, we haven't bought a new one, but um, I'm really excited to have these, you know, and have the old Christmas cartoons because uh, we haven't had cable in years. It's been a very long time. It's just never <sighs> been a priority to us, I guess you could say. So, um, but this is one of the things I really look forward to when we did have cable was watching the old cartoons. Um, and then the other thing I bought, I think I paid two dollars for that. Now the other thing I bought was um, this. Uh, box and I broke the drawer when I've been peeling the velvet off but it'll glue back on let's see I they put cardboard behind the velvet and it's really hard to get off but I'm working at it and then look the drawer pulls they're brats it's like oh no. but uh, this is what I'm altering for a U-shape and I couldn't figure out why the drawer was so shallow because this isn't shallow and then I realized it was a music box and it's one of my favorite types of music boxes where those little thingies go over the bumps and it plays the music I collect music boxes and I was really excited when I saw this but um, it's not a Rogue music box or Rogue. Rogue, Rogue, however you say it. And Rogue is the only brand that I collect. So I could part with this one. But the song's not bad. Some of the songs in these things are. Yeah, I'll put it back to back. Um, some of the songs are really sucky. Uh, went to Alma, Dollar and Thrift. I bought Memoirs of a Geisha book. Because I watched the movie on, on YouTube, which I'm surprised they allowed it to be on YouTube. Because they don't allow movies on YouTube, but it was on there. And it was okay. I thought I'd read the book just to see if it was any better. I, how much did I pay for that? 75 cents. And then she had these 
Um, where's the smaller bag? We have these bags of wooden shapes, and they're meant for crafting. And I'm gonna go back and buy the rest of them next week because when I got them home, I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, I need to have the rest of them. But look, I've got like one inch squares in there if you're like me and it's ridiculously hard to come across Scrabble board games. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> and circles and all kinds of shapes. And then this is the only pack that she had of these ones. But I bought them because they, this bag had a lot of uh, the sunflower seed shape in it. Which I need. But I think these sunflower seed shape ones are a little bit too narrow. So I'm still on the lookout for sunflower seed shaped wood shapes but I bought four bags and they were two for a dollar fifteen so you basically get two for a buck so now I'm gonna go back and get more so I can show okay so then I went to yesterday's today I was hoping I could find a picture frame for that mixed media thing I did um, any of the empty ones were too small and the ones that had framed art in it were too expensive so I didn't get what I wanted but stuck. I got this um, sign isn't it cute it was only a dollar. If it was more than a dollar, I wouldn't have gotten it, but it was a dollar. I thought it was cute, and it had the same colors of Chance. Oh. And oh, I bought, because I chose not to alter, um, you know, that tray of uh, spools, you know, not, not to use them as crafting. Um, he had a package of four wooden spools for a dollar, so I went and got those, and I'll share those, because he has some more. Um, I got this package of buttons for a dollar. I don't need buttons, but this had a lot of, uh, shell buttons. No mother of pearl buttons in it. Most of them are mother of pearl, so that's why I bought them. Um, I got... This corner punch, really excited about that. I want a round, you know, uh, y'all know what I mean. I want to, a corner punch that's rounded, but this will do. Yeah, it makes that corner. But I was excited, I only paid a dollar for that. And, I bought this nail polish for Shay. It was 25 cents. I looked at all their nail polish. I couldn't find any clear coats. Shay, I know you'd want the clear coats. But this one was mostly full and it's called French Pink. But it looks like milk. Anyways, I thought it would be like to, pretty to put like an opaque like shimmer on things. So that's why I bought that one. And then I found this stamp set for a dollar. Let it snow to from thank you winter snowflakes. So that's pretty cool. And then I found this stamp set for a dollar. Let it let it snow, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Winter, Snowman, a couple different hats, snowflakes. That was a good deal for a dollar. Uh, oh, and then I bought this, um, this filer. This, I believe it's, sorry, Larry. Um, 
believe that's for wood. But it has a rounded, rounded edge and then a flat side. So, um, I paid $2 for this. And I bought this because, um, my mother did this, did these things when she was a kid. And there's one hanging up in the cabin here and they look really awesome and really simple to do. So I thought I'd do them. Of course I need to get some, some, uh, some wood first. But anyways, I guess that's it. Oh, glad I didn't forget. Oh, there was one thing that I bought. I bought a Santa Claus punch at the Five and Dime. That's the other thing I forgot. Okay, and then I wanted to, um, to see if anybody wanted these. Um, I had these two punches, and I found a different snowflake punch at yesterday's at one point in time, and then I just found this Santa Claus punch, you know, at yesterday, or at Five and Dime. So I replaced these because they they punch out fine, you know, they it's not it's not that the things don't punch out well, but these ones are a little bit harder to punch. And um if you're like me, I like to do a lot of something at one time, but if you're just doing, you know, a few of them, then these are perfectly fine. But anyways, I wanted to see if anybody wanted these. And if anybody wants them, I will send them to said person. Um, but I didn't want to throw them away. You know, they're still good punches. I just found something that was a little bit easier on my hands for doing large scale. You know, these ones will really cramp up your fingers if you're trying to do like 50 of them. But if you're just doing a few of them, they're fine. Anyways, if anybody wants them, you know, they're great starter punches. Let me know, and I'll send them to you. And I think that's it. I have been crafting somewhat, but I've been really busy lately. But I do have a couple projects done, and I'll try and do a video of those soon. Anyways, thanks for watching, and Chewbacca. Chewbacca! Chewie! Chewie! He's a funny boy. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.